Hello, in this video, I am going to take you through the put function. So the put function is allows you to print out a string to the standard output. And the difference between puts and printf is mainly this. Printf takes a formatted string where you can format it with other sort of data types, integers, booleans, characters, and other strings as well. And puts only takes a string. That's it. It can't take an integer, it can't take anything. If you do want to print out something like that, now that would need to be converted into a string prior to actually calling the puts function. So puts is a lot you know faster to run in terms of processing power it also produces usually less unwanted results because with printf the fact that you can format it means that if you're getting data from a user for example potentially or from somewhere else let's say from a file you don't then it's expecting it as an integer you might get it as a boolean or a character or whatever and it might have unintended consequences so that's it, but with puts, all you gotta do is put puts and then put a string here. Could be a character array, which of which will basically form a string or a string literal like this song say, hello world, exclamation mark, save it, run it. Let's see, what's that say? Implicit declaration of function puts puts what's interesting. Ah, sorry. This is probably just handling it because it's Visual Studio Code. If you do some terminal, probably crash. I need to put a hash include stdio.h. So, yeah, if I save that and I run that now, no error. Forgot to do the hash include. So make sure you got a standard input output header included and then put the puts, and that's it. Just a string literal or a character array which performs the string anyway. Nothing more to it than that. If you have any questions, feel free to join the Discord group. There's a link in the description. Almost 4,000 members. You can maybe be the 4,000th. 4, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.